So you want to buy a first home and you want to know how it works. In this guide, we will take you through all the steps that you will need to know to buy your first home. Coming up in just a tick. Hey clan, it's Ross Stiese, aka The Bearded Broker. I am a mortgage broker. I am based in Scotland and I do mortgages all over the UK. I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people buy their first home. And in this guide today, we're going to take you through the steps how to buy your first home. So step number one, and always will be step number one, is mortgage advice. You have to speak to a mortgage advisor or a mortgage broker, a bank, a building society to make sure that you can get a mortgage. There's no point going out looking at homes and finding out later on that you can't actually get a mortgage for whatever reason. It could be credit history issues, uh, an issue from the past, that sort of thing. So importantly, you set up an appointment with a mortgage broker or a mortgage advisor. You go and have a chat. They will go through your affordability, how much you can afford to borrow, deposit, credit history, and that sort of thing. And then you'll find out if you can get a mortgage or not. So moving on, step number two. Step number two is a decision in principle or acceptance in principle. So a decision in principle will give you comfort to know that a lender has credit checked you and that they've checked your basic information that your advisor has put in and they have established whether you can get a mortgage or not. So then you can go out into the market and start looking for properties. So we've got your mortgage advice covered, we've got a decision in principle covered, then we're on to step number three. Hey clan, quick intervention, are you a first time buyer? If you are, we have a first time buyer guide available free to you. All you need to do is go to the link in the description below and you can download our first time buyer guide. Are you a first time buyer in Scotland? We have a full written piece on our website. If you're a first time buyer in Scotland, you can read the whole article there. Are you a first time buyer in England or Wales? Exactly the same. Links in the description below. If you have any questions about any of this lot, please give us a shout. Now back to the video. Step number three is appointing a solicitor. Now, if you are using a mortgage advisor who is perhaps a mortgage broker, typically they may be able to appoint a solicitor for you or at least give you an idea of one to use that they perhaps work with. Now, if your family have used solicitors previously or your friends have just bought a house, for example, always go on a good recommendation. Don't ever be influenced just by the price. The price comes into everything, as we know, but don't save yourself a couple of hundred pounds just because, you know, uh, there's a solicitor down the road which is £200 less, but actually you've got no idea how good or indeed how bad they might be. Buying a house is very, very stressful. You want a good team around you. You want a good advisor around you, a good solicitor around you whilst you're buying a house because you want to be able to pick up the phone to them and get an answer as quickly as possible if there are any issues or bumps in the road. So step number three is appointing a solicitor. Step number four, my favourite part, is going away and finding your home or your first home. So we've spoke to a mortgage advisor, we've got a decision in principle, we've got a solicitor lined up ready to put offers in when we're ready. It's now over to you. Go and check Rightmove, go and check Zoopla, go and check Gumtree, go and check SSPC in Scotland. Check all these places. Google online houses for sale in your area and do as much research as you possibly can. You'd be quite surprised at how quickly the market can change. You'll find a property online. Typically nowadays, you can also see like an online viewing, almost a video tour of the property, and you can then get in touch with the agent and get access, get a viewing lined up, and then you take it from there. You go, you view, if you love it, you put an offer in, if you don't love it, you move on to the next one. Good luck. On to the next step. Mortgage application time. So you have spotted the property. You've been in touch with a solicitor. They have put an offer in for you on that property and that has been accepted. Happy days. Next step is a mortgage application. So remember step number one, 
You spoke to your mortgage advisor. Well, you're back on the phone to your mortgage advisor. You get in touch and you say, good news, John. My offer has been accepted on number 1A High Street and I am ready to get the ball rolling. Your advisor will then tell you all of the documents that they are going to need. Typically, it's proof of identification, proof of address, proof of income and bank statements and almost always proof of deposit as well. Once you've got all your documents in to the advisor, they will go through everything with a fine tooth comb, making sure there's not going to be any problems along the way. And then they will make a full recommendation for your mortgage and they will often make a full recommendation for your protection or insurance, life insurance, you know, that sort of thing. And then they will go away and submit your mortgage application for you, keeping you up to date along the way. Once all your mortgage has been agreed, they will then let you know and you'll get a copy of your mortgage offer. So will your solicitor and so will your mortgage advisor. That is a thumbs up. You know you've been agreed for the mortgage and you're now ready to move on to the next step. The legal process. So the legal process is your solicitor that you've appointed liaising with the other side, so the people that are selling this property, and liaising with you. It's at this point they'll begin to drop the legal contracts, also known as missives uh, in Scotland, and they will also start the process of agreeing for a completion date, so the date you're going to get the keys. They will start sending you some paperwork. They will start asking for some identification also, proof of address also, and proof of deposit also. But really, it's very process-driven, so just allow the solicitor to do their job and follow their instructions and just go through it. If you're struggling with anything, you contact the solicitor or indeed contact your mortgage advisor. They should be able to assist you if you're struggling at all. Step number seven, the entry date. Well done if you've come this far because the entry date is the date you're going to get your keys. So the mortgage advice has been done, the mortgage application's all agreed, the van is packed up and you're all ready to go. You are now at the date of getting your keys and your solicitor will phone you and say, good luck, that is the funds all transferred over. You can go and pick up your keys from XYZ location. You go and pick up your keys from XYZ location, perhaps the estate agents that are selling it, for example, and then you'd get in the van and you go and you find your new front door and keys in the door. Well done. Congratulations. You are now a homeowner. So hopefully that's been helpful. My name is Ross Stese. I am a mortgage broker. If you need any help with anything mortgage related at all, then I will be here. Happy to help. Comments below if you have any questions about any part of that process. Have you gone through the process before? Was any of that different? Does all that sound familiar? If you've not gone through that process, I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people through it. And I've gone through it myself personally with my wife several times. So I'll be happy to help. So it's Ross Stacey from the Stacey Group. I am the Bearded Broker. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.